0.1% doesn't seem much, however, what would horribly, catastrophically, go wrong if it was off by 0.1%? The concentration of CO2 in the air. All our current problems are a result of it rising from 0. 0.02% to 0. 0.04%. A rise of 0. 1% would be beyond catastrophic. There would be no ice anywhere on earth. The seas would rise hundreds of meters. Humans would experience various permanent, long-term health effects. 99. 9% 9 of a ship's hull without holes. You'd be surprised to hear that all commercial cargo ships actually have holes in them on purpose to take in seawater for cooling fresh water generation. And trust me, those bastards can very easily have a steady leak. Disk space on Windows 10 computers with nearly full disk. Windows 10 often uses up several gigabytes of disk space to do things such as install updates. And leaves a safe buffer of just 256 megabytes. Now imagine that some Steam game releases an update. And you have 0 bytes left in seconds. And 0 bytes free means absolute disaster. It's not like you cannot put anything more on it. Absolutely nothing will save on the disk. And any attempt will generate an error. Websites won't load. Because cache won't write to disk. Drivers will crash. Because they tried to write some logs. When you turn off your computer. Registry will get completely messed up. Because it was a few bytes too large to store up. Theoretically. Antivirus may fail database update. And start deleting everything. And X200B. And you'll end up having to reinstall Windows. If all of my poops left 0. 1% of them inside me. I'd have a full poop left inside me roughly every 3 years. I'd be a walking septic tank by now. But then you poop that out and only leave 0. 1% of that. Which only comes to a full poop every 3 millennia. But the millennium poop would become a long anticipated event. As it is the freeing of biological material that is valuable in its age. As a fine brandy only ages to perfection in its oak cask. This poop would be wizened beyond compare and would have refined into the perfect substance. In the future. This will be tantamount to becoming the goose that lays the golden egg. Your guts have graced you with a magnificent treasure. A digestive timeline of your entire life. Lay end to end in a brown reflection of what it means to be alive. A zero. One percent daily increase in anything would be a disaster. Imagine every day you'd have zero. One percent more cats. If there are. I don't know. One hundred million cats now. There would be one hundred and forty four million inches a year. Three. 8 billion inches 10 years. 150 billion inches 20. A million billion billion cats in 100 years. We'd all be knee deep in a sea of cats. A worker at my dad's metal processing plant made an error even smaller than that I believe. It was a small metal part for machines that make plastics so they need to be quite precise. They ran out of one metal length so they were making the part out of a slightly longer metal to start with and just trimming more of it off for the final product. The initial trim left an excess of 100 microns. Which even on a plate that is 1 inch in size is just something like 0. 0.003% of the size. A worker failed to double check since they were so accustomed to the normal metal size being used and cleared the metal through for the final processing. Well it turns out that excess 0. 003% made the material unusable after it was finished and it cost the company over $13. 000. In the 2000 US presidential election between George W. Bush and Al Gore. It came down to what was basically one state in the electoral college. Whoever took Florida. If 0.1% of all people's hearts stopped. And X200B. 7. 7 million deaths. What's really frightening is. If that is globally distributed. The world wouldn't even take notice. There'd be no noticeable carbon drop off. A lot of black death. All we'd have is another year like 2016 where you noticed a lot of funerals. Maybe that's what happened. If it happened all in one place. Though. That's a sizable city gone in an instant. The trajectory of a nuclear warhead. 
back in the 50s and 60s that's actually why the warheads were so big. The missiles were only so accurate. So you needed to make a bigger boom in case your missile was off by a mile or two. Zero. One percent less humans. That is a lot less people. The Leftovers is a TV series about the aftermath of only 2% of the world's population going missing instantly. Super interesting premise. Trying to follow your mom's instructions. Looks at recipe. How much is a smidge? The United States Postal Service delivers 187. 8 million pieces of first class mail per year. If 0. 1% of those go missing. That's 187. 800 missing items. Dot. Did I say per year? I meant, per day. Are you sure this isn't already a fact? Mailman here. That sounds a little high. But if you said, say, a tenth of that, it wouldn't surprise me. Carbon content in steel. Steels such as 1095 steel are literally just iron with zero. 95% carbon in the composition. A difference of zero. 1% carbon content would dramatically change the properties of the steel in question. This is true of other chemicals and alloys. But carbon is the most well known. Iike molybdenum is added at proportions of like zero. 0.5% and still makes a big difference in properties. Absolutely. In World War II. Germany was short on molybdenum so we used vanadium for our tanks instead. This resulted in a more brittle steel which often lead to catastrophic failure in battle. Alloys are the most important thing in steel along with temperature treatment. FCK it up and someone is going to have a bad day. Rocket angled an extra zero. One percent to the left. At larger distances that adds up. Aiming for Saturn. Found Io instead. Genetic engineering. UFCK with zero. 1% of genes in your baby has banana eyes. If zero. 1% of all airline flights crashed. There would be around 87 crashes every day. Why is everyone in this thread increasing things by zero? 1% daily? If the death rate increases from 1000 to 1001 per day. That's it. The death rate is 1001 per day now. Why would it be increased by another zero? 1% again? Pi. Hey I like this one. A whole hell of a lot of stuff from all walks of life would be completely fucked. Anything that has to do with circles. Ovals. And curves would be fucked. Which is most things. Even stuff that isn't obviously circular involves pi at some point. Data on the planet. As of December 2018. There was an estimated 33 zettabytes of data globally. If we lost 0. 1% of that. We'd lose 33. 000. 000. 000. 000. 000. 000. 000. 000. 000. 000. 000. 000. 000. 000. 000. 000. 000. 000. Bytes of data. To put that in perspective. The Library of Congress is estimated to hold 10 terabytes of data in all printed material. 1 exabyte is a hundred thousand times all the printed material in the Library of Congress. That seems like lots. But it might actually be fine depending on how that's distributed. Exactly because it's only zero. One percent. That's still a ton of stuff. A lot of it would probably be porn though. You're right. It would be a catastrophic loss.